Guys, what's up? Henry here at CAS. We are here at Roll Hard 2021 at Vista Heritage. We are here with the Airlift Performance Stand and the Slam Sanctuary Stand today. Uh, we're all set up. We've got Raj's E30 M3 here. We've got the E30 LTO and we've got my BMW 540 E34 as well. So uh, I'm going to take you around the show and we're going to have a look at some of the cars. So follow me. Let's go. So look at this uh, Audi A T. We saw this at Players like a few months ago. It's so cool on on uh, three spoke wheels. So cool. Three spokes, decked. It's got a louver on it. I just you don't you just don't see anything like this with a three spoke on. It's so cool. Weird color combo. The interior is like green to match the outside. Real nice Nardi steering wheel. I know it's just. It's badass, you never see anything like this. That's uh, probably one of the top cars here. Do you think you'll uh, end up getting some free spokes at some point? Uh, I don't know if that suit my BMW personally, no. <laughs> but uh, they, they suit the odd car, I think. That's it. I feel like they're making a comeback. It's a very as well. brave move to go free spoke, but you can pull them off sometimes. This, is, this pulls it off, I think. It's all like. Audi decals here inside, which is cool. Guys, I found something close to my heart another E34 laid out on air and arch to lip fitment. Come see. Spot on fitment. Ooh. So yeah, this is a just a 525 I think, but just a super super clean example. And it's just arch slip fitment, it looks spot on. This is all you gotta do to these old cars. On the set of stepped up RFs, PBS RFs. Real nice car. He's got the uh, factory number plate delete as well, which is kind of cool on, on an SE bumper. That's a nice little touch. It's amazing what a set of wheels can do to what is a pretty basic 5 Series at the end of the day. The wheels make that car and arch lip fit more. Right, let's continue. Mr Henry, your t-shirt. Is that something people can buy right now? Buy this t-shirt on slamsanctuary.com. Cheers. <laughs> okay, look. So this is one of the cars for me. Definitely one of the cars of the show is Ashley's um, Mercedes-Benz 420 SCC. Just, just look at this thing, it's insane. Again, close to my heart, arch lip fitment, stepped up BBS RSs. The car's been fully repainted, ceramic coated, and it, it's just so, so clean. I think you have to agree with me on this. This is probably one of the cleanest cars here. <laughs> that pillarless look as well. Pillarless looks amazing. Super rare, super rare steering wheel. I don't know what it is, but it looks rare. <laughs> uh, sitting on air lift. Of course. And yeah, man, it's just such a cool car. That paint is. is Spot All I know is that it's a photographer's dream to shoot this car right now. I think his DA, he's got like 50 photographers in his DMs trying to shoot it because it's uh, yeah, what definitely one of the coolest cars on the scene at the moment. I love it. Another Merc. So sort of a different vibe. Recently painted as well, 190E on air as well. Custom, come and take a look. There's loads of custom little touches on this 190E. The girl who owns it is a tattooist. Okay. And come and check this out. I don't know if you can get it on the camera, but she's actually engraved the lips. Have you ever seen anything like that before on a car? How cool is that? And she's made some custom centre badges as well. It's pretty nice. And it follows all the way up, all the chrome trims. She's hand, she's done this by hand. Hand engraved it all, the pattern. I didn't spot that the first time. 
pretty cool rack. And yeah, sitting nice, fresh paint, pretty cool. And then, yeah, we got some Mark II over there. You can skip over that. Ah! <laughs> it's the best Mark II ever in England. Come from Portugal. Did a long journey and looks fresh. Look at that. Ah, uh, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> some other guys from work popped down. Reese works for us at Home AV Direct. That's his oh. M4. On Ellis Performance and some fresh road to forms. Who else have we got there? And then Sam, look, so Sam is our workshop guy. He bags all your cars in our workshop. He never comes to car shows. We finally got him to come to a car show in his badass E36. Even though he bags cars for a living, this car's static. He's, he's, he's a madman, but come check it out. Come around here. <laughs> You'd think he was a drifter. <laughs> Mr. Sam! Mr. Sam! <laughs> Sam, did you right. enjoy your first car show, mate? Yeah, well, my, my first, first time in about show. five, six years. No, I didn't. My legs are aching. It was raining all day, and I wanted to go home, so I'm going home. Oh, all right. See you, <laughs> we'll see you Monday, mate. Bye. <laughs> Take it easy, mate. <laughs> So yeah, this is super cool that Rollhard have access to the technical site. Me and you have both been here on a few uh, Sunday scrambles when there's all sorts of classics here. To see like modified cars and cars on air, static cars, just like stancy cars. To be honest, there's all sorts here, but it's really nice to see it in this setting and for a photographer and for a videographer like yourself, this is like a dream location. It's almost like it's a, it is a curated show. That's what it is, it's totally curated by Rollhard. There's several different areas, but this, the cars around this area are definitely curated and hand-picked to make it, you know, super cool as you walk in, and it is. Right, we need to check out Reese Parr's BMW 700, which has been body dropped onto a Volkswagen Beetle floor, floor pan. So yeah, check out the Beetle engine there. So that's how he's done it. Yeah, man. That's why it's so easy. It's on the floor. I think they're just, I mean, they're just presenting it all want to sell it. Oh, nice. Cool. We've got a rag top as well. Yeah, and if you take a look inside, you can see that it's a beetle floor, beetle everything. <laughs> He's even left the beetle steering wheel in there. <laughs> it's obviously lacquer, it's black lacquer. But yeah, another owner that works in a body shop is a painter, is a fabricator, so he's, he's built this whole car himself, which is pretty impressive. And those are the sorts of builds we're seeing around here. Lots of home builds, people have done all the work themselves, which is super cool. NSX, can't go wrong man, when do you see NSX's and I'm free spoke, more free spoke man, <laughs> a bit more fitting as it's a Jap car but yeah, that's really cool. Uh, BMW E12 on airlift performance, uh, it's just so cool. We've seen this a few times, we've seen this at one of our cars and coffee and also at players recently. So sick. Clean is this? Just look at all the details on this thing. It's so, so cool. So 
this is like the main hub where the roll hard stand is. I think they're just about to do the awards. We might be able to check a few of the cars. We've got Kaisel's RX-7 there, which has just been wrapped on some uh, custom Roteform LHRMs. Quite nice. One car that I've been checking out on Instagram for a long time is Jack's 89 Caprice Lowrider. It's so cool. He's a, another paint guy, so he's done all the paint. He's got some custom stuff on it. Come look, if we can, if we can see it. Chevy Caprice, so cool. Check out. And check out the flake. flake. <laughs> and check out all the details of the paper. If I post it, it's going to be... So yeah, it's all pinstripes. Those are flake in it. Really nice. Favourite thing about this? The paint. The paint. Very cool, yeah. More so than the uh, actual hydros, I think. <laughs> yeah, it's really cool. I don't really see stuff like this in the UK. I mean, there is a lowrider scene, but in this sort of car show, we don't often see it, so it makes a nice change. Can you see how he's painted the actual frame? guys it would not be possible it's not just me and matt who deal with it it's all these guys thank you to my lovely missus who's been putting up my grumpy ass for the last six weeks Safe to say there's some uh, good shiz here. I think we've seen some cool stuff. <laughs> we'll head back to the stand, it's packed down time. I've left Matt there all day on his lonesome, so I might have to give him a hand now. Let's pack the that. van back up and head back. Although I think we might stick around a little bit later when everyone's gone, take a few photos, take advantage of where we are, all the backdrops, and take some cool photos. Day, Henry. It's pretty good. Just the weather. Weather annoying me. <laughs> uh, we'll take some pictures of it. I'm just packing down. Get this all loaded up in the van so Matt can go home. Because bless him, he's been sat here all day under the stand. I think he wants to go home. And then we'll continue taking some pics, I think. Slave labour. It's definitely not <laughs> slave labour. <labor. laughs> Taking advantage of the situation, we're at Bista Heritage. We're going to try and find a spot to shoot the LTOE 30, probably for a magazine shoot of some sort. We need as much content as we can for this car, so hopefully, we'll find a nice spot. Let's go. <laughs> Bye, Matt. Matt's going home. Oh, man. You look pissed. <laughs>
and Mr. Henry. Are we done? Shoots. We done. done. Palm can go home. Now I can take pics of my own car. <laughs> okay, that's how it is. I have to wait all day. <laughs> well, it's been a good show otherwise. Yeah, really good. Really good. And now the weather's great as we leave. <laughs> that's it. How was the day for you, Palm? You're on video now. I'm on video? Yeah. How am I on video? Like this. <laughs> oh, <laughs> oh uh, yeah, mate. Yeah, some uh, lovely show here, actually, to be honest. And the fact that the Roll Hard Boys got to use the um, the technical area, mate, I just think it made the show a little, little bit more special. So, um, yeah, good job, man. We'll be back next year. Definitely. Take it easy, mate.